Hey guys, welcome back to my channel called Techno Samasi and myself Kuldeep as your host. Again, today I am coming with a new exciting video regarding PC utility. This video is very useful for the people who want to upgrade their hard disk or they want to change their hard disk to SSD. So this video will tell you about how to do your hard disk cloning so that you no need to install any windows or any software or any driver for your laptop. Just clone your drive and your laptop run as it is after changing your hard disk or SSD. Let's check out the video how we are going to clone a hard disk using a 2.5 inch hard disk enclosure. We can use SSD as well as we can use hard disk for the cloning process. Let's check out the cloning process on my laptop screen. So I have plugged in my SSD using 2.5 inch hard disk enclosure. So you can see here my plugged in SSD is not detecting on my laptop, my computer section. So what we need to do, we need to search for disk part. It is Windows utility where we can see our external plugged in hard disk or any storage device. You can see this is my disk 2. So simply this disk 2 we need to format it and mount it. Here I rename as new drive then next it will format as NTFS and the drive will be primary partition. So now you can see a new drive called new drive and the mount is I later. So what are we going to do? We're going to clone the Windows drive, C drive and D drive for the HP recovery drive. To clone the hard disk drive, we are going to use Macrium free edition software. Just go to this URL and click on the home use. It will going to download a downloadable package software. Once you click on that, you can see just download the software here. Click on download. It will take some time to download triple one MB software. Once the download is complete, it will pop up for you to install the software. Just follow the on screen instruction and install this downloaded package for Macrium software free edition. Guys, here we are going to choose home. And uncheck register this installation for Macrium Reflect. Once the installation has been done, just click on finish. It will open the Macrium software. This is the software look like. So here you can see the disk one, the GPT disk one and disk two is my new drive. So from disk one, we are going to clone two drive. One is Windows 10 C drive and D drive as a recovery drive. So guys, just remember the drive partition will vary laptop or PC to PC because I have partitioned my internal hard drive to four. So you can see the C drive, D drive, E drive and the F drive. Select this disk two for a 
cloning destination drive. The next, we need to just drag and drop the Windows C drive and the dependency drive. Like you can see here, the NTFS primary drive, which is 858 MB. Then WinRE NTFS primary drive, which is 694 MB. And the final, this is HP recovery drive, but it is 23.41 GB. And I have left over only 10.2 GB. So what we need to do, we need to shrink the C drive where the Windows 10 is installed. You can see the drive is 453.79 GB. So here we need to do some calculation. The requirement is 23.41 GB and we have left only 10.2 GB. So we need to shrink out around 13.21 GB from the Win 10 Auto Drive. So that is what the calculation is going on. So similarly, you need to do your calculation and sync your drive. So it is again depend upon your partition size. So here you can see I am giving my desired sync data. So now you can see I have left off 23.41 GB. So simply drag this HP recovery drive also. So you can see the all required drive I have dragged and dropped in a new disk. Then click on next. So here you can schedule the cloning process, but for me, immediate. So once you do next, then check here what are the clone drive uh, we have selected, then finish. Then one pop-up will come, what do you want to do now? Just rename your cloning data, then press OK. Once you click on OK, it will pop up a window, confirm override. So here we need to check in on all target volume data will be overwritten. Then continue the process. Uh, this cloning process will take time depending upon your drive size. For me, it taken around three to four hour. Again, this is depending upon the user drive size. So quickly fast forward and jump to 100% progress and see what next. Here you can see the clone has been completed. And close this window. Let's quickly see on the my computer area. You can see this is my Windows 10 C drive and this is my HP recovery drive D. So which is existed in my internal laptop hard disk. And this is my clone Windows 10 drive and this is my clone HP recovery drive which I have connected a external USB 3.0 hard disk casing. So you can see the drives has been completely cloned as it is. So what we can do here, we can take it out this external hard disk or SSD and you can plug into your laptop or PC and boot your system as it is like your current laptop or PC is running. So like this, we no need to install Windows again as well as the software and the drivers no need to install. We just clone the drive and replace the hard disk or SSD. Hope this process can help 
the folks who wanted to upgrade their hard disk or upgrade their hard disk to SSD. Using this procedure, we no need to install any Windows, any software or any driver and it will be very seamless porting your all data from one drive to other drive as a external hard drive or any new disk like hard disk or SSD. Hope this video is informative and useful to you guys. Please like this video and share it as many as possible. Please subscribe my channel to get similar kind of informative videos update. Stay safe. Thank you.